video, I will be showing you how you can schedule and find the critical path of a project or any other task using the PERT method. And I will be showing you how you can easily find these results using Python. First, let's have a look at our scenario. Let's imagine that you want to open a supermarket. Before you open it, you must construct it. Here are the steps you must follow before you can start the construction. First, you choose a community location. So it's like your analysis, which place in the country will give you more business. Here, we, it takes 14 days for you to finally decide where will be a good place to build your supermarket. Next, you prepare your blueprint for the supermarket, and it took 20 days. Then you estimate the cost it will take to construct your supermarket. It took three days. And then you prepare the money, which took 20 days. After you prepare your money and estimate the cost, you can purchase your land and order your material. Here, we must estimate the cost before we purchase these because we don't want to buy things that are way too expensive. Now after we order our material, we can hire our construction contractors. After all this is finished, we can start construction. How many days in total did this take? Here you can see that we cannot just add up these days together because over here we prepare our money at the same time, we are doing these things. How will we find the critical path, which is connecting these to form the longest amount of days, using the PERT method? First, I will label these lines here. So the first one will be A. Next, we prepare our blueprint, B. We estimate the cost, C. We prepare the money, D. Here you can see we have E, F, G, and finally we have H. Now I'll, rem I'll remove these labels so we can have a look at the math here. Here we have the amount of days. Now, you can see over here, it's zero days. And only after we after we find the location, did we spend 14 days? So for A, it's 0 to 14. Now over here, over here we prepare the money. Here it, uh, we, are, we are already at day 14. And preparing the money took another 20 days. So from here to here will be 34 days. I mean from the beginning to after we prepared the money will be 34 days. Over here, let's see, what's that again? We prepare our blueprint, which took 20 days. So here's also 14 to 34. So you can see that we finished preparing our blueprint and we, we finished preparing our money at the same day. But after you, but before you can begin these, you also should finish estimating the cost, which took three days. So since here is 34, we add another th three. We get from here to here is 34 days to 37 days. Now, over here, let's see what's that. We order our material, which took eight days. So from 37 to 45. Now 45 to 56, because 11 plus 45 equals to 56. Here you can see 37, 50. Why am I not using this 34? I'm using this 37. It's because even though this is faster than this, we must 
first complete these two tasks before we can continue doing these. So by the time we get here, it's already at day 37. Now, over here, we have fit. We are at day 50 when we finish purchasing the land, but we are at day 56 when we finish hiring our construction contractors. So since we have to do both of these before we can start construction, we take the 56 here, and it took 20 days for them to start, so it's 56 to 76. Now we can see a critical path. We see where these are linked. We see 0 to 14, here you can see this. We take our critical path this way. Over here, we have 34, and then suddenly we jumped to 37. We want the path that over here they are the same, like 37, 37. So 14, 14, 34, 34, 37, 37, 45, 45 and 56, 56. Our critical path is A, B, C, E, F, H. And the total amount of days you can see over here, 76. Now, this picture is for our Python program. As you can see, we have letters that are connected to other letters like this. A is connected to B, A is also connected to D. So we have AD and AB. B is connected to C, so we also have BC. Now you can see both D and C are connected to G and E. So we have DG, CG, and DE, CE. Only E is connected to F, so we have EF, I mean over here, and then both G and F are connected to H, so we have GH and SH. Now let's see how we can put this in our program. First, I will run this. We get our critical path, which is also what we got previously, and this is the amount of days. First, from the critical math module, I import node. So you may have to install this module. Now, I define my variable p. It equals to node project. So project is the name of our mode, node. Now I define my variables a, b, c, d, e, f, and g. These will be each of these lines here, A, B, C, D. Here, A equals P dot add node. Here, our, the name of our node is A, and the duration is 14 days. Here you can see I do, I say the, the name of this is B, and the duration is 20. Here we input all our information. Now I define my list of links. So here you can see in our picture, we have all these links. Now for every link in links, p.link, here I pass in what I have here for every link. I have this asterisk here because actually, for our for a link function, we can do if we do this, we will add a link a b to our p node. But if we just say p dot link link, this will actually be they will add extra brackets, and that way they will give us an error. So to remove these brackets, we add an asterisk, so they will just pass in what's inside the brackets. After I passed in all my links, 
I update p, so p dot update all will calculate and update the nodes for our parent project. Here I can print p dot get critical path open bracket close close bracket. This here will return the critical path of our p node, and p dot duration will return the duration the duration so let's run it one more time we don't have to now we can switch up this for loop instead of that we can just say p dot link here i have a d and then i can say dot link so this is act really like a link a b and I can keep on adding dot link dot links to form a link. So here I pass in B C D G. Let's see. Now let's see. We have D G C G Let me just add in these and I'll add in the numbers. I mean I'll add in the links later. Now we have C G and then D E C E and E F. And finally, we have, let's see, it's GH and FH. Now, you don't really have to have it, them in these order. You can have them in random order, and you will still get the same result. Here we get, we have our, let's see, it's the critical path, A, B, C, E, F, H. Let's see here. Here you can see, A, B, C, E, F, H. And we have our total amount of days, 76. So here we have 76. Now this is just an example. In real life, we will have, um, in real life, we will get a much bigger, a much bigger PERT chart than this. Because in real life, we have way more things to manage before we can do something. This is the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, requests, suggestions, or comments, please leave them down in the comment sections below. Please subscribe to my channel. It's called NetsEDU. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and have a look at my other videos. They might be helpful. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.